I think one of the most unique products that I was introduced to, um, it was last year at the IDS meeting in Cologne, Germany, that I was introduced to this product, is a product called Grand Tech from Voco. And Grand Tech is one of these products that you're not going to use every day, that you may not even use every week, but I can tell you that when you need to use it, you're going to say, man, I'm happy I bought that product and put it into my uh, armamentarium because it just is one of those products that fills a void or a need in our system. And basically what it is, it's a resin impreg impregnated glass fiber reinforcement system. So I think all of us have used to reinforce teeth things like ribbon and um, possibly use uh, some sort of wire and things like that. Um, the biggest problem we always have with the rib ons and whatnot is the handling. You have to use special gloves. It's shredded when you cut and things like that. Well, what Volco did is they created this fiber type system, this bundled parallel glass fiber that's impregnated with a light cured resin. Each unit is about 55 millimeters long and has a diameter of 2 millimeters, and each strip has a removable protective film to facilitate the ease of handling, so you do not have to use special gloves like you do with Ribbon and some of the other products. Here's how it comes. It comes in this packaging, and here is that 55 millimeter strand of the Grand Tech fiber. And again, you're not using this every day, but I'll show you a bunch of cases that I've used this. The nice thing about it is it's handling. You can manipulate it with college forceps, hemostats, um, plastic instruments. It's very easily uh, manipulated and uh, easy to measure as well, and we'll show you that in a few seconds. And you can shorten it with scissors, and it doesn't really shred at all. Um, once you place it onto the tooth, and I'll show you how we do that, and I'll even show you that in the video, um, you'll see how it really makes sense in the system. So this... Um, woman um, was brought in by her mother. She's an 85-year-old woman with Parkinson's. And her mom comes to me in the middle of my day. She says, my mom lost, uh, broke a tooth. And, of course, I take a look. She gives me the tooth, and she's evolved the entire tooth. Um, and this woman has Parkinson's and, of course, is not amenable because of her condition to any type of long-term uh, any type of long -term care. Now, it's in the middle of my day. We have a busy day. So what do you do in this situation? It's not about aesthetics necessarily. Um, because her lips going to cover most of this. She just needs a tooth there. So it's presentable for her and something she can work with. So good thing I had Grand Tech sitting in the cabinet. So here's how it comes. We open it up. Here is that foil packaging. You can see here the light strand within the orange packaging. And what we do is, I'm going to go back for a second, but I'm going to measure internally here approximately how long a strand of Grand Tech I'm going to want. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this orange packaging over and using a piece of dental floss that I measure or a ruler, I'll overlay that over this orange while I fold this over and just cut the orange material and the Grand Tech fiber inside. So if I, for argument's sake, if this is my cut and I cut it in, in a third or in half um, while this was folded over, I would save the other piece for future use and use only the piece that I need and now it's ready to be worked with. Lo and behold, it works great with Futura Bond DC and the Grandioso Heavy Flow. The three form a perfect uh, match together. And you can either etch those teeth with phosphoric acid first and then apply, then apply the Futura Bond DC. Or you can go ahead and um, just use the Futura Bond DC. Your bond strength, I think, are improved a little bit with the etch. Um, and very often in a brushing area, like in a situation like this, if she's a brusser because she has Parkinson's, she clutches a little bit, um, I would tend to use etch in this spot and then apply the Futura Bond DC. So use phosphoric acid etch for 10 seconds, then the Futura Bond DC, 20 seconds, air dry, light cure. Apply onto the teeth, buckle, lingual, and approximal, wherever I'm going to use my fiber. And what I do is I begin to take my grandioso heavy flow. And what, look what you kind of see. This is not cured. I will overlay this on here, and it's just sitting directly on the teeth, directly um, exactly where you put it. And that's the beautiful thing about these heavy flow flowables is exactly where you place them, they will stay. And now what I go ahead and do is I take my Grand Tech fiber and I overlay it. This looks like it's on the incisal, but it's on the lingual of these anterior teeth. And I like cure. And now I have that 
light cure. When I light cure this, it becomes very hard. Those glass resin impregnated fibers becomes very, very hard. So now what happens is I can begin to use this as a mold or a base, if you will, to be building up my comp building up a tooth out of my grandioso heavy flow material. <laughs> and here's the completed case. Now, is it the most aesthetic, gorgeous tooth in the world? I'm not going to say it's the most aesthetic thing, but remember, her lips going to be up here, and her lips going to be up here covering this tooth. And for this 85 year old woman, that she can walk out and function and look good. Uh, all at the same time, be able to smile without having a space in between there and without committing to expensive dentistry, I think I'm doing this patient a tremendous service. Now, the question I get asked all the time when we do this is, well, what do you charge for a case like this? Because it becomes difficult. I, I will tell you, this did take me about 20 minutes to do or 25 minutes to do, partly because of the, uh, the patient's condition, but I would probably charge, and I think it's a fair fee, between four and six hundred dollars for a procedure like this. Your cost of material is very, very low, and you are doing a tremendous service here uh, for the patient when you're when you're doing something like this. So, and they hold up pretty well. I have not had one of these break on me yet, and I've done a good number of these um, over the past year. And here's our biggest nightmare. So Kurt comes into my office. Um, I will tell you exactly when this was. This was the day before Christmas Eve at the end of my day. And Kurt says to me, Doc, I broke my front tooth. I need you to get me through the holidays. And we love when they tell us these things because what does Kurt have here? Kurt has a carious central, non-restorable, plus carries over here on number eight. It's 7.30 at night, the Wednesday or Thursday before Christmas, and I'm going away for my break, and he needs a tooth, and I can't let Kurt go through the holidays um, without having uh, a tooth in the front. Well, what do you do in this fight? It becomes a very, very tenuous situation. So I'll show you exactly what I did, and here's what I did. Um, Futura Bond DC, I placed, um, I acid etched, of course, first. I placed two Grand Tech fibers across for two reasons. One, this tooth was severely carious. Number two, I had a porcelain crown here. I wanted to try to get as much adhesion to the porcelain crown as possible. And I even placed a Grand Tech fiber up and down this way for extra reinforcement. Because I was going away for eight or nine days, I just didn't want this thing to come out and break. Uh, using the Grandioso Heavy Flow Flowable, um, we built it all up with our, um, with our composite. And that's what Kurt looked like going home. So now you say to yourself, um, is that a service? Did I do this patient a service? What did I just do? I just restored um, a carious tooth. I restored a carious tooth temporarily to give him something that he could use potentially and probably not come back to my office considering um, what you look like coming in, and you never know if someone like this is going to come back and see you when you make these things look too good from the get-go. But I can tell you he has been back. I actually had to cut this out of his mouth. Um, we saw him about two weeks ago. It was rock solid. And the other nice thing um, that I love about this is he actually had that tooth extracted at an immediate implant place. Well, all I did was, when it was all said and done, was once this was built up, I created a proximal slice here and a slice here, cutting through the Grand Tech uh, splint and the uh, Grandioso Heavy Flow, extracted the tooth, placed the implant, and then re-splinted it back into place. So he was able to walk out with that same temporary. So when you're looking for a use for something like this, and you say to yourself, well, where else can I use um, a product like this? The, the answer then becomes that, you know, you can use a product like this also for your single tooth implant temporaries. I think you'll see how it makes sense, how you just need to have this sitting on your shelves um, in your practice. So when would I use this? I would use this for splinting of teeth before or after periodontal treatment. I would use it to stabilize teeth that could be reinserted after traumatic removal. It could be used internally or externally to close gaps using resin teeth, um, inside or outside the mouth. 
It also can be used to reinforce temporaries, as I'll show you that in, uh, in a few minutes. And the nice thing is it's metal free. It can be used directly or indirectly. It links chemically with any conventional, conventional light cure composite. It's very, very aesthetic and, um, you can use it, uh, even to reinforce large span temporary bridges.